Hey guys, it's Jake from Cryonaut Media and Cryosian. Today we're using Ableton Live 10's beta. Uh, if, if you're at all familiar with this, you know that there's a few new devices introduced here, and we're going to get into that coming up right now. So if you've been looking at any of the news following the Ableton Live 10, you'll know that there's a new instrument called Wavetable, and then a couple new audio effects, one of which is Pedal right here. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. And basically, it's a distortion device meant to emulate the guitar pedals that you actually have a physical pedal. So there's a couple different kinds of distortion here. Um, and it can be anything from a light saturation to your sounds to full-on fuzz and just destroying your sounds. Really cool. Uh, so, first of all, we're going to need an instrument. Let's just throw analog on here. So analog is just a default synth that comes with Ableton Live. I love using it. It's really simple. If you just need a basic sound, this is really good. And it does kind of have a very analog feel. So if you're into that kind of thing and you don't need a super pristine, clean sound, analog could be good for what you're doing. Uh, so here's what it sounds like with pedal turned off. All right, and then once we turn it on, just by default, So you'll hear not a whole lot of difference when it's on the fuzz setting, um, but we can get into a lot more control here. So if you look over here in this little info view, you can kind of get a better feel for what each of these do. Um, you'll see overdrive, distortion, and fuzz. So it kind of goes from light distortion to medium to heavy. Um, overdrive, if you have the settings turned down a bit, is a lot like the saturator device over here. So as we turn up the gain, you can hear it get more and more uh, distorted. But uh, even with the gain turned down, it still has an effect on the sound, and it's not meant to be overwhelmingly distorted and you know overdriven, but it's just enough to add a little bit of a bite to that kind of sound. And then down here is a little EQ um, with bass, mid, and treble frequencies. Um, and what's cool about the mid is you actually have a little selector down here to kind of go for the low mids, the middle, middle mids, I guess, and high mids. And you also have a little sub down here because a lot of distortion will take out the low end. So this kind of adds it back in a little bit. So let's just hear a couple sounds and just see what these things do, the different types of distortion. So as with most distortion, when you start playing chords or even just two notes that are a fourth or a fifth apart is when you get that really awesome harmonic dissonance and then that the, the frequencies that sound really cool together. So even just one note, you know, you can hear it. But when you play two, then it starts to really sound really nice, I think. Um, and that's with the sub on. If you take it off... It, I think you should have it on for the most part unless you need to have only a higher end sound and you have another bass that's taking up the same frequency range. If this is going to be your lead though, you probably want to have the sub just to give it a more full kind of a sound. So that's basically the pedal device. Um, again, you have an output. If your your sound is too loud, you can turn it down because distortion tends to add things with the gain here. Um, or if you just want to help it stand out some more, you can boost the volume a bit. Um, and then you also, as with most Ableton Live devices, have a dry wet knob. And this is really nice because you can, let's say, put this on, let's put this back to zero, turn the gain up, add the sub. This is going to be just a crazy distorted sound. So maybe you have a really nice sound to begin with, but you want some distortion and it doesn't quite sound good with the gain turned down a bit or just this other option over here. What you can do is get this just maxed out, insane distortion, totally destroying your sounds in a good way, but then turn down the dry wet. 
And what that's going to do is layer however you set this to. So 38% of your sound is going to be coming from the wet sound or the distorted sound. And the other half, or more than half, is going to come from your dry sound. So if you have a really, really distorted sound here, you turn this down to even 23, you're going to hear mostly your original, your source sound. Um, and there's going to be just a little bit of your distorted sound. And so with the right balance there, you have a lot of control for just different kinds of sounds. And even if your sound is just maxed out here, you could dial this back so that it's still maxed out, but not as overwhelming. So that's pretty much the, the pedal device here. Um, a lot of cool options where before you really only had amp and overdrive, a couple other things you could maybe use, but this just gives you a lot more of a distortion kind of sound if that's what you're going for. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Ableton Live 10 beta videos and keep an eye on the notifications and you'll see the next one that comes out. And let me know in the comments below if you're going to be getting Ableton Live 10 and what you're most excited to see. Or if you're already using the beta, which feature do you like the most? Thanks for watching.